Many people have asked me whether data science is harder than software engineering. Hi guys, my name is Rohit and I have been working in data science and AI field from last 10 years. And I have worked in several companies as a data scientist, lead data scientist and chief data scientist. And we have delivered several data science projects. So I'm very sure that I know insights of data science domain. And along with that, I have many friends who are also working in software engineering. We are closely working with the full stack development team, which were working with us on the data science project. So in today's video, I would give you clarity on whether data science is harder than software engineering or not. Let's get started. So when you work as a data scientist, you would be mainly using skill sets like Python programming for building machine learning models and to solve business problems, then you would also need SQL for getting data from various data sources. Now, as a data scientist, your main skill sets would be understanding the problem statement, understanding the data and business problem, and then trying to build machine learning models or any kind of analytics to solve that business problem. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say that you joined as a data scientist in a bank. Now, for them, you might be using historical data and creating a credit card default model, which can predict the credit card default ahead of time. That would be your job as a data scientist. Now to do that work, first of all, you need to have good understanding of Python programming. You should know machine learning models. You should understand credit card data. You should understand in which case people are called as defaulters. What are the important parameters which can contribute to the default behavior? So you have to understand all those parameters by discussing with the business stakeholders, subject matter experts. That would be your job as a data scientist. Now, let's say that there is a software engineer working on the credit card domain. Now, the software engineer might be creating a new application through which people can start applying for the credit card. So as a software engineer, you might be using full stack development schools like front end development, then the tools like back end development. So multiple programming languages like Java, C++, Python, SQL, all these skill sets you need to know to become a full stack software engineer or a full stack developer. And you might be then creating a web apps or mobile apps for solving that business problem. You would be building applications. So that's the main difference between the role of data scientist and role of a software engineer. So if you compare these two roles, software engineering role is more tilted towards technology. So in that role, you would be mainly focused on using programming and technology to deliver the applications which are required by the business. And as a data scientist, the role is more focused towards problem solving. So you would be using Python, machine learning and other tools and skill sets for solving the business problem using data. So these two are the main differences between data scientist and software engineering group. Now you might be thinking which of these roles is difficult or easy. Now that depends on your background and your interest as well. Now if you are someone who is coming from a computer science background and you have done a lot of programming and you enjoy doing the programming right then you might like software engineering role more or you would find it easy because you have a programming background. Now people who have a strong programming background, they are going to feel software engineering role is easy and they are going to feel data scientist role is easy as well if they like problem solving. So if you like programming but you don't like problem solving, then you would find software engineering role to be easier. If you are someone who is coming from a kind of a non-programming background or you have done programming but you also love problem solving, then you would like data scientist role, you would find that data scientist role is actually much easier. And if you ask me from my personal experience, see, I'm coming from an electronics and telecommunications engineering background. So personally, I feel that software engineering role is very difficult for me to do that kind of a role, to do any kind of a full stack development. But on the data scientist role, I have to write code in Python and SQL, but it's not as much as coding which is required in the software engineering role. And there is a lot of problem solving that I have to do. I have to think a lot. I have to come up with the approaches which actually solve business problem. That's the kind of thing which I personally enjoy doing. So I find that data scientist role is actually much, much easier than the software engineering role. So now it depends on your background, guys. So based on your background, you're going to feel which of these roles is easier or tough in terms of the career prospects. Both of these roles are good. There are a lot of career opportunities in data scientist role as well as the software engineering role. So don't make your decisions based on what you feel easy or difficult. Always make your decisions based on what you like, what you want to do. And if you are not clear, you can try to learn these skill sets, spend three to four months in building some projects on software engineering as well as data scientist kind of a role. Specifically, if you are coming from a computer science or IT background, you can try both and then decide which one you want to pursue as your full-time long-term career. 
if you are coming from a non programming background then getting into a traditional software engineering or a full stack development role would be much difficult because you are not having much programming exposure then in that case you would find data scientist data analyst or any role around data much easier than the software engineering role so i hope you got clarity on how these roles are and which of these roles is actually easier so thanks for watching the video and i will see you in the next one bye bye